Good day, guys. My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are taking a look at Australia's Panther Terror. You got that? I should have read it before we started <laughs> doing it. But. Guys, before we hop into this video, we'd like to go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsor. We were pretty skeptical when we were first introduced to the bone conduction audio technology, but the Ouya bone conduction waterproof headphones took that skepticism away pretty quickly. These IP68 rated headphones are perfect for people like us that enjoy every second that they can get in the water, but also want to enjoy music as well. Being made of lightweight titanium materials, they are super comfortable and won't cause earaches after long usage like traditional headphones. Not only do they support Bluetooth, but they also have 16 gigabytes of memory to download music onto the headphones themselves. That way you can listen to music underwater without Bluetooth connection issues. If you want to get a pair for yourself or a friend, click our affiliate link below in the description. Again, thank you uh, to the sponsor. The headphones are pretty cool. You yeah, guys should go check fantastic. them out. Um, they, <laughs> when we tested them out, we didn't realize that they had the uh, the hard drive internal built hard drive built in that you could save music onto it. And so as I'm doing that ad, I'm swimming underwater and I'm like, I'm like Fez, it didn't work underwater. They lied. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. You just, but have it to does. Download you the just music put the music on there. And that's, that's genius. Yeah. Because there's nothing out there that does that. And what makes it even better is you can actually just like, I mean, same concept. You can do it from your phone. You can set up your playlist. Right. But then you can put it in there. So if you're doing different workouts, you can have your... You know, if you're going to go to the gym, you can actually hit a different stream. Right. And then when you go swimming, you can have a different, uh, what's on the headphones for that. Exactly. Because I like having my Tay Tay uh, jamming out while I'm working out. Mm -hmm. That rhymed and I didn't mean <laughs> to. I've been checking out this dude named Harry oh, Mack. He's awesome. Check him out. He's a freestyle rapper on YouTube. It's awesome. Guys, we do get paid, obviously. I'm not even quite sure how much, but a small commission off of any purchases made from this headphone company. If you guys want to check them out and help support us, the link for the or the affiliate link for the headphones are down below in the description. And hopefully so, he'll remember to include it this time. Yeah. So before we hop into this video, if you would go ahead and give us a thumbs up, it truly helps us out in getting these videos out to more people. Also, if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, that way you guys can stay informed on our future videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more and get an exclusive. Oh, hi. Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. YouTube short shout out. Click that join button down below. So real quick before we jump in, uh, I wanted to, I brought up to him possibly doing other type of reaction videos, probably still no music and still no like stand up comedy, anything that can be copyrighted because to be perfectly honest, we do do this to make an income, obviously, but we can't do anything copyrighted. Otherwise it will affect us and it will, it could also come as a copyright strike that could shut us down. So if you are interested in seeing other videos that have nothing to do with cultures, uh, Australia, or any other Just country. like trending viral videos. Yeah. Let us know yeah. down in the description. And if you have a suggestion, go ahead and hit our Discord up and leave it in our video suggestion area. Mm -hmm. And we will definitely consider it. Right now, he's kind of on the fence. I'm all in. But we'll see what we can come up with. Let's do this, mites. Let's do it. And my tets. They're done watching now. They're like, fuck this your guy. Your tits? What'd you say about your tits? My tits. Your mites tits. And mites and my tits. Your tits. Okay. My tits. My tits. <laughs> All right. So I didn't know Australia had Panthers. So I did not either. <laughs> Let's see. Ow. Terror. Australia is known for some pretty deadly creatures. We've got the majority of the most venomous snakes and spiders in the world and some of the largest and most keep aggressive them. crocs, to name a few. But... At least one thing we don't have are any of the big cats. Or do we? He got so quiet there. He said, or do we? The big cats. I know he did. Or do we? What is like? Or do we? Or do he we? got that like. <laughs> Throughout I New got South a Wales voice. and Victoria, over the last few decades, there have been literally thousands of reports of Black Panther sightings attracting widespread media attention. Not just sightings, but photos and videos as well. This is something that some people have raised very seriously, uh, particularly people who have had um, uh, livestock killed and believe that it was not dogs, but it was some, something like a big cat. Some of the evidence has included carcasses of cows Damn. and sheep six metres up trees Ugh. and attacks on horses and livestock. Yeah, no shit. Well, it's the stuff of legends. 
For years, there have been reports of giant cats roaming the bush right across Victoria. Okay, how is it like a, like a, there might be some out there. If thousands of people are seeing these, like, well, it's just not? like UFOs. I'm sure thousands of people have said that they've seen UFOs. Right, but you've got and these videos. These are, yeah, I believe in UFOs. These are legit, like, videos of, ca- like, they're obviously cats, big ass cats. But I've, isn't it the leopard that it's a different, typically, or uh, panther's a different color, typically? Not, they're always black. They're always black. I okay. think. I don't know. I could have sworn there, there's a, a big cat. But just catch one. I mean, Cuddle if you, if you like, want to know if they're kitty. real, just catch one and show everybody. Here, kitty, kitty. Like here, it's real. <laughs> State line has obtained amazing footage of cows covered in large scratch marks. So Farmers amazing. The work of a large puma-like <laughs> I know the way that they're wording However, this the is not ideal. Resources and environment oh, says there's nice. no real proof that big cats exist here. Initially, the authorities discounted the sightings as feral cats. But to give you some perspective, take a look at this. A domestic cat usually weighs from three to five kilograms. Feral cats have been found to grow four times this size, weighing up to 19 kilograms. Now a black panther- Look at that muff. A melanistic leopard. Okay, so feral means formerly- it's Wild at this point. So it should be- Feral is gonna be a wild. Okay, so it should be a wild cat, not a feral cat. Okay. Well, that's that's kind of so like feral uh, hogs. They're wild hogs. But feral hog, feral, the word feral means that it was formerly a domesticated domesticated animal. So that's why feral. I I believe in the U.S. feral is used improperly a lot. Hmm. So let's watch that one more time. Ten kilograms. Now a black panther can be either a melanistic leopard weighing near 90 kilograms or a jaguar, which weighs around 158 kilograms. Okay, so they're either a jaguar or, what do you say? A black panther. A leopard? A leopard. So, okay, that's so what it there's, is. So there's no such thing as a panther. Right. So not, I, They're I, either a leopard or a jaguar. And the jaguar, and what's even crazier, based off of this story, I'm... Don't hold me to this. I believe I read this. I believe I saw this somewhere that statistically the black uh, jag or the black leopard is like one of the rarest version of it mm-hmm. because typically it's the color. You can even see the spots in this one. It's got very light. Uh, well, that's why you guys can't catch them because they're so fast. Yeah, I mean they're the <laughs> fastest, like, fastest animals in the world. But yeah, it's very rare. Simply mistake a feral cat for a panther. Especially when a number of these sightings were by groups of trained professionals, including what year is park this? rangers and wildlife experts at a close distance. You don't have to pause it. Fact, 2015. Okay. So it looks like a potato that they're filming it. The Australian it. government launched two federal investigations in 1999 and 2003. Using panels of experts so to determine early. the okay. likelihood, a big cat expert, Johannes Bauer, with experience in China and Nepal, was brought in in 2003 and concluded that the most likely explanation is the presence of a large feline predator in this area, most likely a Damn. leopard. Yeah, my, my little in tiny Gipsland, cat. In Victoria in 2005, a local hunter, Carl Engel, noticed large paw prints in a dry creek bed and went to investigate a T-Rex. only to come face to face with a panther that jumped towards him. Could you imagine? He shot and killed it. So proof. Done. Evidence. But was dismissed by authorities despite having photographic evidence. Oh, fuck the authorities. So if there are in fact panthers here in Australia, how? One theory is that they had escaped from private menageries, traveling circuses and zoos over the past century, which is completely possible given the number of animal transport accidents and animals gone missing. Some believe the Panthers were brought over as mascots by U.S. servicemen stationed in Australia during World War II that were released at the war's end. Some believe that the Panther is endemic and has always been a part of Australia's fauna. What adds weight to this argument are some of the Aboriginal stories of the Panther that predate colonization. Or what if it actually is a feral cat whose size has no precedence? A cat who has grown not only over centuries since colonization, but perhaps a thousand years before from Indonesian fishing traders. So at that point, it's just its own species. 
May I ask a question? Absolutely. Are you holding the pen to make yourself feel smarter? Holy crap. I am so sorry. You're one popular guy. Yeah, I think my food has been delivered <laughs> <laughs> from Walmart. Sorry, guys. I apologize. And I mean, so, if it hasn't been proven, then it's just a UFO. But, but they, I believe they in UFOs. A cat. They did kill a cat. That is not a... I would have to know what the largest... Uh, Zero cat? No, the largest uh, non-large cat in the world is. It would be the... Uh, uh, here, let's finish this video. We'll start the discussion yeah, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think? Could there be a species of black panther alive and thriving in Australia today? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, well, that was the end. <laughs> so there's a cat that I really effing want, all right? And I'm allergic to cats. I, I, but this cat? Boy, would I buy this cat. Okay, but either way, do you believe that those are like outrageously large feral or wild cats that are not classified as a large cat species? Or would you consider that a, a freaking leopard? I don't know. The Maine Coon, Maine Coon cat, that's not the one I want. That's the largest. Those are really expensive. This is the largest domesticated cat. These don't even look like big cats. This is, I'm on a bad website, hold on. But let's stay on topic here. No, we're, we are on topic. You're talking about the topic while I'm looking at the cats. It's not the Savannah, is it? The Savannah is like the cat that was at the uh, it only... store. Somebody brought a Savannah to the store. Yeah, no, this cat looks like a Savannah cat, but it's, it can like stand up. And... He's talking like a Sphinx or something? Not a Sphinx. No, it can stand up and put its effing paws on your, on your like shoulders. The largest. Yeah. Is that Britney Spears? No. <laughs> it almost looks like a younger Britney Spears or his sister. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's a big ass cat. And I could buy one tomorrow. Yeah, leave it like that and I will zoom in. Was it worth waiting this long? I'm going to cut out a lot of that stuff. Buy this cat tomorrow. Damn. I mean, look, standing up, putting its paws on the table, and getting a little sip of that alcohol on the table. I would buy the yeah, shit it's a out large of this cat, cat. But it's nowhere near as big as what they're talking about. It's not video. as beefy as, as the cat. No, that what was they're on that video. what's on that video, there's no possible way that's a uh, former. No, it's for sure a, a, a big cat. Yeah, yeah. What was shown on the video. Yeah. Yes. Was it done here? Was it done here? Was, was it, it done, done in Australia in, or was in, it bullshit in and they filmed it somewhere else? Exactly. So that's the other question. So obviously there's multiple uh, possibilities. So I, I would say if anything, it's all bullshit or okay. In one direction, if it's a negative, it's all bullshit. Somebody filmed it from somewhere else and then they... You know, they're, they're using cattle that have been in fights or whatever the case may be. I mean, y'all somebody went out there and just scratched the shit out of their cows. <laughs> no, like, uh, it could also have the coyotes. Do y'all have coyotes? Footage. I don't know. Uh, do y'all have cougars? We have cougars. They don't have big cats. At They've all. They've got coyotes, but they call them, uh, they're the dogs. Coyotes? No. Oh, oh, the, uh, uh, dingoes. Dingoes, yeah. Yeah. So um, could that be caused by a dingo and then somebody's full of shit and just decided to upload pictures when they were out in Africa of a safari and had was like, hey, saw that a big cool. cat. Right. Because also, this was back when potato cameras were a thing. Yeah. Also like let us know if if you guys 2015? There wasn't a whole No, 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 no. They were talking about the original. Oh, 99, 99 and yeah. 03. The iPhone didn't come out. No, even in the iPhone era. You know, I mean, they weren't good cameras. Like Listen, 2015, it's crazy how I, long ago that was and how bad the cameras I know. really were. I also want to know what your guys' conspiracy theories are that you believe in. So let us know in the comments down below. And if you have a good 12 minute or less long video that you want us to react to about conspiracy theories, throw that in our just Discord. Link is in the description. For real. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. For my knees. It's so breezy. You're such a good rapper. I know. You should start your own career on rapping. You're so dumb. We're so tired. So it's, it is currently like. It's only no. It's it's only eight thirty. That's actually. It's just funny. been a but long I've been out ass in the day. Heat all day. 
But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see our future videos, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. If you want to support us directly, hit that join button. And with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.